what's an urgent need for a number of reforms. Zina Chaukat Ali has elaborated on the need for that. But my simple point is this, that if practices such as Hello. halala, like polygamy, are being done away with, what can be the possible objection to that in today's yeah. day and age? Or equal share in property? Yeah, absolutely. Khaliko Rahman, please respond. See, first of all, Hello? Can yeah, you hear me now? Is, yeah. uh, You're is my voice clear ahead. now? Am I audible? Okay. Uh, yeah, for, uh, first of all, let me tell you, because the debate on UCC is being projected as if it's a Hindu versus Muslim, as if it's a 15% versus 85%. Let me tell you that we have to come out of that mindset and we have to put straight in the context. How is it, that, sir? When several uh, the, leaders of opposition uh, have said tribals have problems, let me, let me, there are Sikh groups that have problems. How is it Hindu versus uh, Muslim? Me, me, this is about me, overall uh, equal reforms. Madhav, Ma, let me complete. First of all, let me tell you that uh, the Uttarakhand government, do you consider Uttarakhand as a part of India or not? Is that, you, a, is that even a question? Is that even a question? What kind no, no, of a question no, no, is this? No, no, then, 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 no, 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 no. see, the Uttarakhand government is not uh, empowered to make any kind of amendment, any kind of, uh, 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 is not entitled to bring in any kind of bill. So, what is this draft? This draft is totally unconstitutional. To for the state, sir, they can do it for their own state. They are enacting it for the no, state. They, what is so difficult to understand? No, no. I mean, I, I mean, you mean to say that every state in the country is going to be independent and then what's the use of the center then? Yes, I want Sir, to does this not, then, does this not then, come under the then, concurrent then, bill? No, no, then you are, you are defeating the very purpose of the UCC if you are allowing every state to have its own law. Okay. Uh, Sanju Varma, it's defeating the purpose of UCC if every state has a separate law. Please respond to that. Okay. Okay. You know, I think uh, Khaliko Rahman has raised a very interesting point. And I want Khali Khaliko Rahman to comment on that point. Khaliko Rahman, do you agree with Abdul Raza Khan or do you agree with Zina Shaukat Ali? Do you feel there is need for reform to be on line with where the whole world is headed, where global jurisprudence is headed, even as far as Islamic countries are concerned, Khaliko Rahman? Or do you feel there is a need for such practice to continue, which many on the panel today are saying they are regressive? See, first of all, let me tell you that uh, this matter was already referred. The UCC was already referred to the 21st. Uh, uh, law Commission and 21st Law Commission uh, has gone into the greater depth and after that uh, they came out uh, with the decision that uh, the UCC is neither desirable nor it is recommended and it is not necessary. Then uh, the uh, NDA government, uh, the BJP government has kept mum on this for the last nine years uh, though they had already included this in the manifesto. Now just before the election they have again raised it up uh, in order okay. to make it a purely political issue. It's purely been done for Lok Sabha elections 2024. Sanjeev Varma, that's the chance for the BRS. You're doing this.